space, everyone. And just make sure you say this space is nice and safe, yeah? Nothing's going to jump up and attack you. <laughs> okay, a little march, yeah? Brilliant. Can I get to march a little bit wider? Hold it here. We're going to go down and up. This time, it's just going to do a little down and a little up, yeah? So all you're doing is just sticking your bum out behind a little bit. Keep chin, chest, chip, chip lifted. This whole thing should take us about 30 minutes, yeah? The first few minutes, the warm-up could be a mini workout. You just need a little spritz to get you on your day. Two more. Okay, now I want you to transfer your weight. So you should weight off your right foot and then your left, yeah? And again. Brilliant. Now, if it feels comfortable to, see if you can reach across. And again. Brilliant. A few more reaches. See if you can start to reach up a bit. Excellent. All right, bring it a bit lower down. Back to shoulder height. And then just for a couple of reps, see if you can turn your head. Don't worry if you can't. Keep looking forward if it makes you feel sick. Don't want anyone sick. Okay, stay with the chance for the weight. Lose the arms. Just looking forwards. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is start to bring our heel up to our bottom. Remember when you're working out at home, doesn't matter if you go wrong. Yeah, if you lose your weight, have a little pause, have a little look, and then join in again, yeah? I can see my screen is wonky. Normally I'm on a two tripods set up. One of my tripods, I'm not getting on with it. Just can't get it level. <laughs> okay, now do me single, single, double curl. So it's single, single, go double. And again, single, single, double. Couple more, yes. Single, single, double. Do it one more time. Okay, now do me a heel digging for so you go we dig and dig, yeah? That's it. So you just press your heel in front. Looking good. You've got it. Now, could you slow it down? And again, yeah? A few more slow ones. I just want you to think of sticking your bum up in the air to get a stretch on the back of the leg. Now, can you dig in front for four? Four, three. Then go slow, please. Yes. Dig again for four. Go four, three. Then go slow. Brilliant. Now do me a tap to the side. You're going to go right, left. Can I get to keep this tap going? Well, I just wander over here. Keep tapping right, left, yeah? Go right, left. And again. Brilliant. Do me eight more taps. So you go in eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Back to your heel, dig in front. Now if you want to, the dig can be a flick kick, yeah? Now go slow, plant down on slow, dig or flip kick. So I'm doing opposite arm here, then go slow, slow again, dig or flip kick please, four, three, let's go slow, brilliant. Now tap to the side, so these are your single taps, yeah, brilliant. Okay, now can you do me four on the right, four, three. Four on the left. Brilliant. Do it again. Four right. I've got my palms facing forward. Swap in sides. I've got my thumbs up. Okay. Flick or dig. So here's a flick kick. Then go slow. Slow again. Dig or flick kick, please. Four, three. Go slow. Slow again. One more time. Take it quick. That's it. Take it slow, lower if you can. Four on the right. Now, are you able to pick your knee up between each one? Swap legs. Hello, whoever's wandered in there. Do it again. I can't read from the sisters, but I know someone's arrived. Last swap. Brilliant. Dig or flick kick. Last time, do you? Yeah? Four, three. Let's go slow. Slow again. Flick it, kick it now, yes? Four, three. Take it slow, brilliant. Take it to the side, so you've got four, three. The other side, 
Listen, try me a step to the knee. Watch. I go step knee. Yeah? Step knee. And again. So you take a step forward and you lift your knee. Yes? Just make sure you're not going to step back or into anything. Yes? So I'm being mindful of my box behind me. And again. Okay, now step knee circle, watch. I go step knee circle, pause. Do it again. Step knee circle. Two more times, yeah? Step knee circle. One more time. Brilliant. Heel dig or flick, yes? Four, three. Take it slow. Brilliant. Now do me four on the right side. Four, three. In your other side. Brilliant. Do me step normal knee, full face, yes? Step knee. Ooh! I nearly lost my step. <laughs> now we slow with the knee circle. We go slow knee. One more time. Listen. Back to transfer the weight. Shift your weight, yeah? And again, as you shift your weight, roll your shoulders. Just start to think about your breathing. We've got a little bit warmer there. We've done our little mini warm up. I want to do a couple of dynamic stretches. Bring your heel to your bottom. I know we did this already, but just want to point out this is your dynamic quad stretcher. Front of the thighs getting a stretch here. Now a slow dig. And again. So this is your dynamic stretch from the back of the leg. Four more, please. That's it. Can you get lower last two? Last one. Let's march. Well done. Okay, so that's the war wall officially done. Do you need a drink? Little march while you grab a drink. Remember, it's never a good idea to sit down while you're breathless. So if you decide you have enough and you want to leave, what I don't want you to do is leave the class in your lounge while you're breathless, yeah? So you catch your breath and make sure you're in control of your breathing before you leave, yeah? However, I'm hoping that you're here for the next, let me just check, it says 30 minutes overall, we've done about eight. How long does it time to say we've got? 22 minutes and 40 seconds on the time, a little march everyone. I'm just gonna press pause here, and in a minute I'll get our teaching assistant out. Now, we're gonna use the step box, not for step choreography, but for some drills, yeah? So I want you to think how high you want to have your box. I'm going to preview some of the moves. Stepping up, stepping down. Jogging up, jogging down. Repeat a knee, 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 repeat a knee. And uh, what else have I got? This one. That's coming up. And get ups. Now for the get ups, the higher your box is, the easier it is. So, because I know I'm not very flexible in the hips and I'm going to struggle on level one, I'm going to put my box up to level two. This is going to make it easier for the get ups. There is an argument that will be harder for the step ups. When we come to that, it's at the end of the class, yeah? When we come to that bit, you can adjust your box then, but I'm putting mine into the right position for me right now. Okay, once you've got your box set up, and remember it doesn't matter if you haven't got a box because I'm going to show you what to do if there's no box in your house. <laughs> Speaking of house, this is Houses of Feeling by Rob Tessera on Pure Energy Go. Thank you so much. Oh, do you know what I've not done? I didn't check to see what music we were playing for the intervals. Cardio 90s. Oh yeah, bring it on. Some 90s. Okay, first exercise is super simple. It's a step up, yeah? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna step up and step down. And we're gonna do it for 45 seconds, starting right now, yeah? So he said work, keep going, so we can't hear him. Wish that both apps would play at the same volume level. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> so when you're stepping up and stepping down, stay close to your box. Now, if you don't have a box, what do you do? You do an imaginary box. Yes, up, up, down, down. And if you want to, jog up, jog down, yes. So you can do a step up or a jog up when you're on your box or whether you're not. <laughs> Keep going on your right leg, yes. Okay, so now you're going to pick up your weights or your tins of beans. You're going to bring them to the right side of your box. You're going to squat up and up, up and up. 
challenging for myself by having a box, how are If I thought that that was a mistake, if I didn't even have a box, it would look like this, yeah? Think of this first time round as being a practice round. This is halfway, when you need a bell ding, you're halfway there. See so you go down and up. Now, if you want to, bring your weights in front of you. So they're not resting on my body anymore. I'm having to work a little bit harder to keep them here, yeah? Core's working harder. Arms and shoulders working harder. Okay, put your weights or your beans down. Next exercise, step up, jog up. Okay, pick up your weights, 
last time, yeah? So you're going to come, the left side of the box, you can have your weights on your thighs, you can have your weights in front of you. Now if you want to do the shoulder press, you rack the weights here, you press and drive them up. Yes? Again, it's up to you. It depends how strong your body is and how heavy the weights are. I'm going to go for this one. And then I might just think about this one. Can you get lower? Looking good. Woo! Last five. Three, two, one. Well done, everyone. So put your weights down. Little march. 30 seconds of recovery. Marion, another Tracy, all the Tracys are rocking up. Love step drills, brilliant. I'll have a read that later, Tracy. Eight seconds to go. Your next exercise is a repeat to knee. So, step up right, repeat the left. Yes. It's not a three knee repeater. It's not a seven, not a nine, not an 11. It's 45 seconds. However, you might discover you're not good for 45 seconds. You might want to rest, yeah? When you're done with resting, put the same one on top. Yes? Keep it going if you can. Remember, it's little light touches to the floor behind you. Don't try and put your heel down. When this leg's on fire, or you can't speak, that's called talk test. Then you can have a rest. Well, do you know what? There's only three seconds left. I'll have to have a rest. <laughs> All right, pick your weights up. So the first exercise is designed to get the heart rate up. Second exercise is more about the toning, yeah? So you're going to put your right foot on the box, yeah? Big step behind with your left. Bring your back heel up, yeah? Turn your knuckles to face forward with your dumbbells. Squat. Row, rise. I meant to say split lunge, row. Oh, got caught in your mic. Try it again. Lunge, row. Now, on this row, I want you to really think about shoulder blade retraction. Oh, think of squeezing your shoulder blades together as you row your dumbbells, yeah? So you've got your split stance back here lifted, your hinge. You row, stand top. Okay, get rid of the weights. Get ready to put your left foot on the box and repeat your right knee. Yeah, left foot on, right knee repeat. So, oh, I, I feel I've done the people without a box a disservice on the floor. Yes, same thing. You've got your left foot grounded and your right knee is repeated. So if you don't have a box, no excuses. Yes. We're halfway right now. Keep going in your cap, yeah? Fantastic. Remember not to let your chest drop too much. We do want to sit into this so that your leg gets to work quite hard. When this leg's on fire and says I'm done, or you're out of breath, you have a rest, and then you join in again. But do you know what? There's only three seconds left. Shucks. Okay, so now, we're going to put the left foot on top of the box. Big step behind, heel lifted. Knuckles face forward. Here's your lunge. Here's your row. Yes. Lunge, row. I realise that you will probably want to look at me at some point. Once you know what you're doing, avoid lifting your chin. I think you're looking just ahead of your toes, yeah? That'll keep your neck in neutral. So it's all about rowing in that lunge position. So we do a lunge, we add a row. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going if you can. Oh! I got the key, I got the secret, except it's not that. So, we're halfway there with these two exercises. Put your right foot on the box, repeat the left, yeah? So just a reminder, for the people without a box, right foot is on the floor, left knee repeats. Yes? The higher your box is, the more 
challenging this next. Was it wrong to pull the box up? That's the question. Woo! That's your halfway. Remember, if you do a rest, when you join in again, same right foot on the box, yeah? Here we go if you can. You're looking good, how are you feeling? My legs on fire. But I want to make more of the lunge, of the row, a row. So, right on top, big step behind left, heel lifted, hinging to your lunge, three rows. Hinge back, yeah? So you go down, squeeze your shoulder blades together three times. What an awful combo this might be. <laughs> flexible in the hips. I need to do the easiest one. I think I can do the middle one, but I'm having a bit of a panic. So I did practice before we started. Grab a great drink. You've still got 20 seconds. While you're having your drink, you don't have to start yet. Have a little visual preview while you're having a drink. This is what we're going to do. We're going to sit down. We're going to stand up. Now, the people that don't have a step box, you will be able to do it on your sofa. Starting now, yeah? Sit down. Stand up. So obviously, your soap is higher than the highest level of the box. We know the lower it is, the more challenging it is. If you don't have a box and that feels a bit easy, do a nice squat, yeah? Excellent. All right, halfway coming up. Sit down, stand up. You can use your hands, yeah? Oh, do you know what? I think I would have been all right at level two. <laughs> I just went into panic mode then, thinking what if I can't hit up in front of everyone on the YouTube and everyone on the Facebook. <laughs> Alright, next exercise is the tap sumo. Yeah. So, wonder how this will be with me not 
having the box float. I do a tap, I swap sides, do a tap. Yeah. So you're just doing up, tap, down, down. Up, tap, down, down. Now, the lower you get down, the more challenging this is. And if you've got any athletes, jump up, step down, jump up, step down, yeah? It's up to you. Looking good. More than halfway now. And again, you can just do this on the floor, just a little tap side to side, or sit into the squat. Listen, if it all gets a bit confusing, you know what? Just go down a bit like this, yeah? Woo! Okay. Are you ready for another round of get ups? So we said using your hands makes it easier, yeah? If you bring your fingertips to the side of your head here, it will stop you from bringing your body weight forward from using momentum, yeah? So this is going to make it more challenging. I guess because I'm on the easiest level, I should go with this version now. <laughs> Nearly there. Take your time. Remember, you don't have to keep in time to music. Last 10 seconds from about now. Remember, you need help. Try what we have. You just want to let your hands help you up. to the 
All right, bring your back foot up. Other leg goes behind. And again, it's a big step, so you're not here. You're there, yeah? Back heel comes up, chest is up. You tuck your hip under. You've got your hip flexor stretch. Iliopsoas, that's what it's called. Can you go lower? It's up to you. All right, bring your back foot up. Little march. Can I get you to just march your about shoulder width and just do me a rotate, yeah? So just releasing your back. Excellent, I'm gonna do one more in each direction. Come back to centre. Fingertips here, can you squeeze your shoulder blades together? Yeah, so try and send your elbows back for it. All right, bring your hands here. Way bye bye. Happy Saturday, everyone. Thanks for being here. Any questions? Do you ask over shy? I know there's a couple of questions in the feed, so I'm going to come back and if you've asked me anything in this feed here, I will uh, I'll reply. <laughs> um, if you are joining me for prime workouts on Monday morning, we're going to be doing step again, not intervals, choreography, simple, and Pilates on Monday morning. That's so I'll see you for that. Also, really, I'm committing here and now, every day this next week, I'm going to do a little tiny mental health break. Um, because it's Mental Health Awareness Day next Saturday, so we just need to remember there's lots of things to discuss in there around that at the moment. In these times, does anyone else get annoyed when they ring the bank up and go, due to the current situation, like, yeah, we all know about the current situation. Anyway, I'm hanging on. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to go down my second breakfast. <laughs> See you, everyone. Bye.